Life in the top ten or a return to the first division. And within five minutes, Kelly appeared to get the ideal start. The run and cross from McSkimming, touched on by McCluskey, Tom Brown there to prod the ball over the line. But the linesman said, no goal, his flag was up for offside. Then a Tom Black free kick, which Leighton couldn't hold, but skipper Graham Mitchell was there to clear. Kelly now in top form. Tommy Burns combining with George McCluskey. Then Brown's flick on for Mitchell, but he was just pipped to the ball by Jim Leighton. Then a rare sight in the first half, Hibbs in the Kelly box. Right in the clear, but he was actually offside. Gus McPherson then moved upfield to assist in the attack in search of the first goal. A nice one too coming up with McCluskey, and look out for the volley. But it didn't trouble Jim Leighton too much. George McCluskey scored many great goals, this should have been another for him, but he was denied again by Leighton. Tommy Burns may be 37, but he was involved in everything. He is setting up Tom Brown, but he was eased off the ball. The second half started with the Ayrshire men back on the attack. McSkimming's cross, but the header went wide. You began to wonder if Killy's luck might be out. Kevin McAllister skimming the defence, but Gareth Evans failing to connect. Tommy Burns involved again, the clever through ball, but George McCluskey outpaced by the Scotland goalkeeper. News came in that St Johnson were a goal up at Motherwell, so some pressure on Killy, but they couldn't find a way past Leighton. A final push in the dying moments, Sean McSkimming again on the attack for Killy, the ball into the area for Tom Brown, but he was beaten by Leighton. After the 90 minutes were up, Kilmarnock's place in the Premier League was assured. The fans and the players enjoying the moment. And they had every right to do so, getting to the Tenant Scottish Cup semi-final, beaten in the replay by Rangers and doing so well for so long in the Premier League. And a £20 million facelift going on at Rugby Park, all for the Premier League. Well done, talk to me, talk to the guys, the guys are done. Who the men have done it, talk to him. Uh, I was at the Sharp, Sharp, Sharp didn't come quick enough for us. Uh, just to get out of the right place, been plugging around all week. Did you think back to that goal last There's week, how important it was? Uh, yeah, well, a lot of goals have been crucial for us, one nothing back to and things like that, but to get one last week to give us a point advantage to go into this game today was uh, priceless for myself, priceless. It would have been a tragedy if you had gone down after the season you've had. Uh, well, a lot of people I think would have agreed with that, uh, but at the end of the day it's, it was in my own hands. Uh, we knew we'd come up here, uh, and I feel like it's, it's fourth time, I've played against them all the time, and I've not really taken any off them, but I think we deserve it today. you will enjoy tonight for the fans? Definitely. The worst 90 minutes of my life, I must confess. I mean, I, I thought I thought when we played the Hamilton game last year it would be it was bad because we weren't promotion in that. But there's so much at stake. I mean, so very much at stake. There's five and a half thousand Kilmarnock fans here today, and um, you felt for every one of them because they felt the same as you. <laughs> you know, absolutely terrified. And when I come down there at the end, I, I kept myself in the tunnel. And Tommy Burns was trying to get me to come out to the fans, but it's their day. It's the players' day. It's Billy, Billy Stanton, Tommy Burns' day. It's the fans' day. It's not mine. But um, oh, the relief is unbelievable. <laughs>